Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do you write a literature review? A literature review is a comprehensive survey of scholarly knowledge on a specific topic. It involves analyzing, synthesizing, and critically evaluating existing research to provide an overview of current knowledge. Searching for relevant literature. The first step is to search for relevant academic sources, such as books, journal articles, and other scholarly materials. This involves using scholarly databases like JSTOR, ScienceDirect, and academic search engines to find sources related to your topic. Utilizing Boolean operators can help refine your search results. Evaluating and selecting sources. Not all sources are equally relevant or credible. You need to evaluate the sources you find, reading abstracts and bibliographies to determine their relevance. The citation count can also indicate the importance of a source. Identifying themes, debates, and gaps. As you read through the sources, identify common themes, debates, and gaps in the literature. Look for trends and patterns in theory, methodology, and results. Note any influential studies, contradictions, and areas where research is lacking. Outlining the structure. The structure of your literature review can vary. Common approaches include chronological, thematic, methodological, and theoretical. The chronological approach traces the development of the topic over time, while the thematic approach organizes around key themes. The methodological approach compares different research methods, and the theoretical approach discusses opposing theories or models. Writing the literature review. Your literature review should have an introduction, a main body and a conclusion. The introduction sets the focus and purpose of the review, forecasting key topics and texts. The body summarizes, synthesizes, and critically evaluates the sources using well-structured paragraphs and transition words. The conclusion summarizes key findings, evaluates the current state of knowledge, and points out gaps and areas for future study. Organizational strategies. In the body, you can group sources by common denominators such as qualitative versus quantitative approaches or specific purposes. Use umbrella, sentences to introduce paragraphs and signposts to guide the reader through the review. Summarize individual studies with varying detail based on their importance. Critical evaluation. A good literature review is not just a summary. It analyzes and interprets the sources discussing their strengths and weaknesses. It shows how the sources relate to each other and to the broader field of study. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.